Hey guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CG of video. Today we will make this simple sparks effect in Unreal Engine 5.5. If you are a beginner, this is this is a very uh, like helpful video for you to make uh, sparks like this and also the material of sparks. So if you like this video, just hit like and comment and share on my video. And also you can go on this link and support me one of for these and if you want to join my membership you will get 712 videos in that full tutorials and if you want files you can go to the fab and that the my link is fab slash cgiao and also go to the patreon if you want the files so you can also join patreon for more than 500 files so let's start this tutorial so let's start this and i have this empty folder parts and first i will create a map so i'll just take a new and let's take this motion graphic although we don't have to do anything with it but this gives you a nice map if you don't have this visible here just turn on the plugin for motion graphics if you want okay so this is just for the like for the map i don't want anything from this motion graphic okay i don't want this and i'll just i'll just delete all these things quickly so after deleting everything i have just this planner this and with this material cool material looks like a metallic kind of thing so this is cool to put the sparks effects here okay so i'll just create a niagara i'll take the fountain and call it ns sparks okay so this is what i have i'll just drag it here into the viewport and maybe i'll just rotate it a little bit okay so first thing i want to like uh, stretch them so for stretching if you'll see sparks usually stretch if they uh, have velocity if they don't have they will become like a dot so basically they have the velocity so first you have to align it to the velocity then you can use size by or scale by speed and you can increase the speed like on the y now they are stressed but i want to reduce the size also maybe just two and one i don't want this mass for now and you can also make it like i will disable the shape so it will just come from a point okay so basically now change the color you can use the oranges but the best value i think is this seven thirty seven seven five point two you can also make variation of colors if you want but this is cool so now they they have to collide but if you uh, you have a uh, like a mesh which has a not good collision uh, thickness or anything you can just use this thing just go to the collision and see it's not colliding right now but if i'll i'll just save all and if i'll take the normal map like this one it will collide i just want to show you it's colliding but because i'm using motion graphic level so it's not working there i'll figure out why it's not working there but for now i just wanted to show it's colliding by default but in this map it's not collide so if you face anything like this let me just turn off this motion graphic and if you face something like this your particle is not colliding you can also use analytical planes and go down and just make zero zero and i'll use the world so on the world it will automatically collide on zero axis on on a planar and see this is colliding now and i want to stretch it a little more maybe 10 or maybe 20 yeah but we can also randomize it so i'll just go random and this will be like two two and this will be 10 and 20 two different values and then they are bouncing and then they are just going there on that direction if you want random direction you can go to the collision and in the bounce first you can randomize the bounce if you want so like 0.5 is default i'll just go 0 to 0.5 some will bounce some will not bounce okay then the second thing is randomize the collision normal so if i turn on this and maybe 0.3 and see now 
after collision they will randomize if you increase it too much they will also come on this negative velocity direction see but i think too, this is too much i'll just use maybe 0 0.5 0 0.5 is still too much 0 0.3 was better and i'll use uh, maybe just to showcase you 200 although you can use gpu if you want like this and i guess i'll randomize the size even more some will be should be very small looks cool and you can also go to here and randomize the color like if i increase the saturation like 0.8 to 3 some will be orange some will be reddish so i think two is enough cool and one more thing you can do is you can add some curl noise initial curl noise not here here so it will give you more random values random movements so if i make it like 200 even more and i'll just animate it so you can even now see the difference see but now i don't want that much like 200 and i'll make 100 yeah still too much maybe 60 just a little bit cool and you can also play with this so like if i make the probability of a spawn 0 to 1 and make the duration like 0.2 so every 0.2 second it will randomize the spawn rate depending on this so sometime it will spawn sometime it will not spawn and i will not make it exact zero maybe 0 0.2 is enough so it will be like this it looks cool i can just make red 60 yeah so this is cool and of course we can just play with this by moving it here and there and this is cool sparks and just to showcase i will just increase this so this will be more clear to see cool i guess i will decrease this thing and make this and you can also increase the friction like if i make this one they will after collision they will kind of stop but it's taking and let's make this you can uh, like increase it even more you will see the difference they are kind of stopping some particles see And I'll also increase the life, maybe three and two. So they will just, uh, they will be visible on ground like this. It looks cool. And when sparks, like uh, there's a sparks, you can make a duplicate version of this. And just do one thing, delete the collision and make these little brighter. Maybe I'll make it three and two and make this life maybe 0.3 and 0.1 life shorter and make the this little more longer so they will be like here too much and then they are separating into parts so this looks better than the previous one and of course if you want you can add light if you want so if i add light and by default you can see okay you can of course increase this if i turn off this you will see the bright light but we don't want that much okay so i'll just increase radius a little bit just to showcase so this is what we have so this is very simple how to make sparks we can make lots of other variation of this and one more thing the texture usually uh it's a stress line which is rounded from two sides like a slender 
but we are using a radial material so basically if you want to change that you can do i'll just save it go to material m spark and i'll open it and i'll take the radial connect this here i'll take additive unlit and if i preview this on a planar this is what it is i'll increase the density maybe 10 to make it a little sharper then i want to cut it so what i'll do take the texture coordinate and i'll take the oops not parameter i'll just undo i'll just preview it and then what you can do you can just subtract 0 0.5 and take the absolute and you will have something like this and then take the step and put the 0 0.5 you will have this yeah actually i want invert of this so you will have this now if you multiply it with the radial it will cut that radial and it will give you a cylindrical shape which is sharp from both sides uh, like a rounded from both sides you can make this sharp if you want by using this but i will not do that and that's it you can just use it as particle color and this is will go in the opacity and just save it and i'll use this in here and also in here looks more real now i'll change the size 0 0.5 and 3 i guess here 3.5 looks cool and this issue you can also avoid this thing by changing the pivot so basically if you'll see because the pivot is here you want to shift it here on the y-axis if i make this one see it's resolved and i'll do it with the both diameter and now it's resolved so this is it thanks for watching keep planning bye bye